Just like all of my other courses, this course is highly practical, but it does not neglect the theory. So we'll start with the basics, just to make sure that you really understand what web applications are and how they work, the technologies used, and how these technologies work together to produce these platforms that we love and use every day. So a website is basically just a web application installed on a server. And a server is simply just a computer. So right now we have this computer. It could be any computer. It could be your personal computer. And when we say it's a server, it just has certain applications on it that allow it to act as a server. Now, generally, servers on the Internet are accessible from any computer on the internet. So they're hosted on the cloud as they call them now. And basically it has a real IP and then anybody connected to the internet is able to communicate with this computer. Because this computer has a specific application that allow it to act as a server, we call it a server. But if you strip everything down, it's basically just a computer with special programs installed on it. Then we make that computer accessible over the cloud, over the internet, which makes it very appropriate to use as a web server or a server that can be accessed from other computers or other locations. Now, a very common application that could make it act as a server is a web server. Now, what is a web server? It's basically an application that you can install on any computer. So the computer doesn't even have to be exposed to the internet. You can install it on your own local computer, even if it's not connected to the internet. It's just an application. And what that application does, it specifies a certain location within your file system. And in that location, you can host files. So anybody connected to the same network as you, or if this computer is exposed to the internet and anybody that is on the internet will be able to access the files stored within the web root or the file that the web server uses to serve files to the users. Now, web servers usually also contain the web application files. So a web application is similar to any application the only difference is it's designed to run on a web server and designed to be served over the internet to another computer. So the web server can execute web application languages similar to PHP, Python, and Ruby. So you would have the web application files stored within the web server because like I said, the initial goal of the web server is to be able to serve files to remote computers using a web browser using the HTTP protocol. The web application files contain code. So the website files could be images. They could be normal HTML files. So they don't, they don't really contain code, but the web application files, they actually contain code written in a programming language that can process information and manipulate it and do useful tasks. So it would be written in languages like PHP, Python, Ruby, and so on. And most websites that actually do something useful other than websites just that just simply display information like a shop website, they would actually be written in a programming language such as these. Now, another very common component of a website is the database. So the web server contains the files like images, styling files, HTML files. These are all just used to display the website, to render the website. And then you have the web application files, which is the ones run on the server side to process data. But the data is usually stored in a different application, which is called a database. Now the database contains a number of tables and we have in here a sample of a table. And we're assuming that this table contains products that are being sold on a shop website. So you can see we have the ID of the products. We have the title. So this is an iPhone, an iPad, a mouse, and the price. We have the price in here for each of these products. So the web server contains the HTML pages, the beautiful pages that you actually see, the ones with the, it contains the images. So the images for the iPhones, the iPads, the mouses that this website is selling. It also contains a web application that interacts with the database to display all of these products. So the web application itself doesn't contain the products. The product information is stored in the database. Now, the database contains a number of tables. This is just one example of a table. It will contain tables, for example, for the users, and it will contain the usernames and the passwords. And then users, when they log in, the web application will communicate with the database to check if the username you supplied is the same one as the password. So it's very important to understand the role of the database. 
web application stored on the web server. It just communicates with the database, gets information, and then displays it or does something useful with it. But the data itself is not stored on the web server. It's not stored within the web application. It's actually stored on the database.